bandwidth of signal. In a communication system, the message signal can be voice, music, picture, or computer data. Each of these signals has different ranges of frequencies. The type of communication system needed for a given signal depends on the band of frequencies which is considered essential for the communication process. For speed signals, frequency range 300 Hertz to 3100 Hertz is considered adequate. Therefore, speed signal requires a bandwidth of 2800 Hertz, 3100 Hertz to 300 Hertz for commercial telephonic communication. To transmit music, an approximate bandwidth of 20 kilohertz is required because of the high frequencies produced by the musical instruments. The audible range of frequencies extends from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Video signals for transmission of pictures require about 4.2 megahertz of bandwidth. A TV signal contains both voice and picture and is usually allocated 6 megahertz of bandwidth for transmission. In the preceding paragraph, we have considered only analog signals. Digital signals are in the form of rectangular waves as shown in figure. One can show that this rectangular wave can be decomposed into a superposition of sinusoidal waves of frequencies V0, 2V0, 3V0, 4V0, so on, and V0, where N is an integer extending to infinity and V0 equals to 1 by T0. The fundamental V0, fundamental V0 plus second harmonic 2V0 and fundamental V0 plus second harmonic 2V0 plus third harmonic 3V0 are shown in the same figure to illustrate this fact. It is clear that to reproduce the rectangular wave shape exactly, we need to superimpose all the harmonics V0, 2V0, 3V0, 4V0, so on, which implies an infinite bandwidth. However, for practical purposes, the contribution from higher harmonics can be neglected, thus limiting the bandwidth. As a result, received waves are a distorted version of the transmitted ones. If the bandwidth is large enough to accommodate a few harmonics, the information is not lost and the rectangular signal is more or less recovered. This is so because the higher the harmonic, less is its contribution to the waveform.